Hey third graders, um, I'm going to try and make this video kind of short because there isn't a lot um, that you need to know because today is the day that we are going to add color um, to our Amate Bark painting. So hopefully you guys have paint at home. If you don't, um, don't worry about it. Crayons actually work really good on construction paper. Um, so if all you have at home is crayons, don't worry about it because you can still do this project with crayons. It works out really good. Um, but if you do have paint, we here at school are using temper paints. And yes, this is an egg carton. I am a recycler, as you guys know. Um, but anyways, so this is an egg carton. It has temper paint in it. I did every color of the rainbow. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I also have black and white. Do not mix the black and white with any of your colors. Otherwise, it's going to make it look gray. You don't want that to happen. Except one thing I did do, and this was advice given to me from other art teachers who have done this project before, which is I mixed white with every color. Um, and I know it makes it look a little bit maybe lighter or pastel -y, um, but it actually makes the paints brighter when you paint them on brown paper. Um, if you use straight colors out of the bottle, it doesn't actually show up as bright on brown paper. It actually makes the paints um, thicker so that they're not as transparent so you can't see through them and so then you can't see the brown through it. So it actually makes the painting brighter and lighter. Um, and like I said, don't mix the black with any of the colors. It'll make it gray, especially considering they already have white in them because black and white make gray. Um, so if you add black to any of these colors, it's going to make your colors grayish, um, which is not so much fun. And then all you have to do is paint it. Well, it went blurry on me. Bummer. Focus, camera, focus. Um, anyways, all you're going to do is just take your paints and color this however you please. I recommend a small paintbrush so that um, you guys can do all of those wonderful details. I also recommend covering up your white colored pencil lines with the paint so that you can no longer see the paint. Okay, that is frustrating that it is blurry. There we go. That's a little clearer. Um, anyways, that is all you have to do is go ahead and there we go. Now it focused. Um, all you have to do is go ahead and paint the rest of your painting. This is going to take me probably hours, so I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me paint today. Um, but go ahead and take your paints and start painting or take your crayons and start coloring. Same thing goes with the crayons though. Um, make sure that you cover up those white lines so that you don't see them anymore and have fun. Make these bright, colorful. If you have open space like I do here, I'm going to fill this in with some flowers because um, remember those Amate paintings, if you remember the pictures that I showed you, they are full of color. They are full of pictures. There's not a lot of open blank space. Um, so make sure you're putting in lots of details, lots of plants, lots of flowers. Um, and don't forget about that border. Paint the border too, okay? So as always, take a picture. Show me what you got. Can't wait to see it when you are all done. Um, go ahead and go back through and add some pure white and black um, for maybe some outlines and some details. That is also a traditional Amate um, style. So once you've painted the whole thing with the colors, go ahead and use the pure black and pure white to add some highlights, some shadows, some details, um, and it's going to turn out great. I can't wait to see these guys. All right, I'll talk to you later. 